The television show, which we'll talk about a little bit later on tonight, opened up with a segment with Kenny Omega and the Young Bucks and Adam Cole. And they subtly teased the future breakup of the Bucks and Adam Cole when uh, Kenny Omega was talking to the Bucks and asked him to hold down the Ford. And Adam Cole said, yeah, we'll do it. And then Kenny Omega said, I was talking to the Bucks. But essentially, he said he's leaving for a while. And uh, presumably that means that he's going to be getting his shoulder worked on. Yeah, more than just that, actually. Um, just He has a lot of, he's got a lot of different issues. Um, knee, shoulder, abdominal hernia um, that he's been working through. Um, there's others, too. So um, he'll be getting multiple surgeries, most likely. And um, everything is kind of to be determined um, you know, I mean, he's, I, I guess the idea is to try to get as many of these things taken care of at the same time, but it's a lot of body parts to rehab at the same time. But, um, yeah, he's, I'm not sure when it's all going to go down. I don't have confirmed that he's, whether he's doing the AAA show, um, on December the 4th or not, it's only a couple of weeks away. Um, but I'll try to get, I'll try to get that clarified in the next day or two. Um, but he's done with AEW most likely for a while until everything heals up. There's no target date. I think he's hoping February maybe, but that's probably, um, you know, I think it's premature because uh, they haven't done the surgeries yet. And, you know, he's, he had a lot, a lot, a lot of issues that he was working through and he was going to, you know, he worked through it. He ended up having an incredible match on his last match in and, and actually on most big shows, you know, if you really look back, I mean, like all the key matches, the Danielson match was, was incredible. Um, you know, up and down the, the whole year really. Um, and you know, he'd been hurt for a long, long time. And, um, but when, you know, the, the matches in, uh, you know, match in Mexico, you know, um, well, I didn't do the match, but like that, the one last year, but, um, you know, so, that's the deal, but he'll be he'll be out for a while, and uh, had big hit a big championship run. The four biggest pay per views in company history were the four pay per views while well, he was champion. So it's not saying that it's all him because it wasn't just all him, but he was certainly a key part of every one of those shows, and then in the main event and every one of them too. That's right. So the buy rate obviously nowhere near what All Out did, but. Otherwise, very good. Yeah, it looks it looks like it's going to end up the second biggest in the company in company history. About one hundred and fifty thousand uh, could end up a little higher or a little lower. Um, but based on the they, they don't have any um, you know uh, cable and satellite numbers in at this point, but based on streaming. It's streaming in that direction in the sense the streaming numbers were up from Revolution did 145, which was the uh, explosive match with Omega and Moxley, which was the se second biggest they did. Obviously, the biggest was the 205 that uh, the uh, Omega um, oh, what was the, the, the one. Um, it was uh, Omega and Christian, wasn't it? But but the real draw was probably um, I mean, the real draw was was punk. I mean, obviously, his first match back. But um, this looks to have been in the same ballpark for, and, and, and topped it. Uh, it's, it's topped it on, like, streaming numbers. But we don't know about the television numbers yet. So it could, you know, it could be in the ballpark, could be higher. I did hear from someone who said the cable numbers were really good. So it might actually be higher than original expectations um are so it did it did well you know very very well um considering november in the past has not done well um you know the two lowest in history were the first two november shows the lowest in history was the november 2019 the second lowest was the november 2020 and uh this one ended up the november 2021 ended up the second or third highest probably the second highest of they've ever done well, so i think that uh the sh all of the shows this year were all of the highest of all time they were the four the four highest of all time yeah. were all this were the four shows this year yes. so i think it's a it's a pretty good indication that they have 
they have uh they've grown their they've grown their paying audience they've grown the paying audience and they've they've uh goodwill they they have goodwill with their audience based on the quality of pay-per-views and i'm sure abiding by stipulations and following through with storylines basically everything that you want out of pro wrestling they've done a they've worked very hard and i think that it's it's really paid off because half of the pay-per-views this year they were empty arena shows so i shouldn't say empty arena but i mean it wasn't fully open for the the first couple of shows this year so well, it's see, just wait, delivering uh, good shows um wait february february was uh like i think it wasn't february like partial and then the uh, may was the first basic full show you know in jacksonville that was like the beginning of the new era really I think that the first one, I, I'm trying to remember, but I think the first one might have had like 1,300 or 1,500 in, and then the second one was the, the Jacksonville that had about five, a little over 5,000 in, I think. And then the third one was the one that we went to in Chicago, which was, you know, first day sellout, which would be the, but, but really the Jacksonville was the start of the, what I would call the new era. The February one was the explosive match, and, um, that one, um, you know, it's funny because that one set the record and then everybody was just like, they killed their business, you know, and, and I, you know, I knew like well, people I don't think saying, anybody with a brain there were a lot of people who said that. that, oh, I got so many people saying like, that's it, you know, whatever. And it's like, when they have a good show, they'll draw again. And, um, but they, they were down a little bit on the second show, but, um, they weren't down that much. It was still double or nothing was still, um, a pretty successful show. And then, um, you know, obviously All Out was the biggest success. It's going to be very hard for them to top that number. I don't know that that one's being topped for a while because there's no, I don't know of any CM Punks that they're going to be getting, you know, and that was the key to that show was his first match. But this, you know, this was the culmination. I, I mean, I think that like, I think that they would have probably done in this ballpark anyway, just based on the fact that they had the 205,000. You know, and you got to remember of those people, those 205,000 orders that, you know, even though they, they didn't get them all back, the fact is, is that they delivered, you know, one of the great shows of all time in Chicago. And so that was going to help them as far as goodwill goes. Not that that's necessarily related, because I've seen companies do, you know, fantastic shows and the next time come back and. And, you know, whether it's pay-per-view or, or live in the building and not do good business at all the next time. Sometimes when you do a great show, um, I'm not saying it hurts. It's always probably better to do a good show than a bad. It's, well, it's always better to do a good show than a bad show, but it doesn't help as much as you think. And the shows, you know, really, it's the quality of the, the hype and anticipation. So, I mean, this show, you know, yeah, the fact that they gave you a great show in September certainly helped the key in getting people because this is not like a subscription thing where you're you were subscribed for everything this is an individual buy so at the end of the day it was you know the lineup whether it's omega and page or punk and kingston or you know whatever whatever it was you know the the whole the whole you know mo most of the time it, it's it's the main event that draws sometimes the undercard helps this you know obviously had a very loaded show as far as great matches from top to bottom but it probably i mean as far as like those numbers you know it's probably you know the omega page storyline and punk and kingston and 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 some of the others to a lesser extent but to me those would be the i mean watching it those were definitely the two big ones i mean the other stuff you know i'm sure there's stuff i mean i'm sure there's you know you had a wide variety of different types of matches and um you know you had uh you know, the UFC stars in there, which probably gave him some attention. And, well, it did give him attention in places that they usually don't get attention. And, um, you know, MJF and Darby, you know, obviously crowd was pretty hot for that. Um, but you know, the, the, you know, whatever it was, it's the, the, you know, you, you had a, I mean, you had a great show and, um, the people bought it, which is always a good sign. And so overall, you know, it's, it's interesting because, um, you know, it, it's, 
it's different dynamic because the most important thing now is is television ratings and not pay-per-view numbers. Ten years ago, it was pay-per-view numbers because you weren't getting that kind of money out of television. Um, so, um, you know, the but but as far as, you know, the you know, the building of the characters and everything like that, this is a good sign. That's for sure. Hey, if you're a big fan of Wrestling Observer Radio, we got 12,000 episodes of all of our podcasts up at our website, WrestlingObserver.com. If you sign up today, you get access to every single one of them. The 12 to 18 new shows that we do every single week. You can podcast them, listen to them on the road, at work, working out, in the shower, wherever you listen to your podcasts. And also full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter and archives. So if you love what you hear, head to WrestlingObserver.com. 12,000 audio shows at your fingertips.